Hello and welcome to In the Kitchen with Matt. I am your host, Matt Taylor. Today, I'm gonna to teach you how to make Halloween themed brownie cake pops. So these are cake pops, but made with a brownie mix instead of a cake mix. So let's get started. For the ingredients, we need brownies. I made a pan of brownies. You can follow uh, my recipe uh, down below. There'll be a link. I have a video tutorial on brownies. Um, or you can find a link at the end of this video, or you could use your favorite brownie mix or just a mix from the store. We have some, I have a spoon. I have some chocolate uh, frosting. I have some icing, some writing gel, and some food grade uh, markers. I have a little pie spatula here. I have a little tablespoon, the nice round edge or nice roundness to it. I have some lollipop sticks, I have some candy melts, and I have some Red Hots, and I have some green colored Mike and Ikes. I also have a piece of styrofoam with holes in it, so the lollipop sticks will fit right in there. First, what we're gonna do is we are gonna tear apart our brownie. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take uh, the brownie and I'm gonna cut around the edges here, so I, I don't want the hard bits, the hard edges there. So I'm just gonna cut around it. Okay. So let's go ahead and scoop out the brownie and put it in here. And then you can just go ahead and snack and eat these uh, side edges if you want. Okay, if you have a fudge-like brownie, you don't have to add frosting. But if you have a cake-like brownie, you wanna, you're gonna wanna add some frosting. Mine is a fudge-like brownie, but I'm still gonna add just a little bit of frosting to it. If it's a cake-like brownie, then you're gonna add about a third of a cup. So I'm just gonna add about that much, a couple tablespoons. And now we wanna mix it all together with our hands. And it will look something like that. And you're gonna take a little, this little spoon and you wanna get about, about that much. And roll it up. I got a pan with parchment paper right here. Once we make our ball, go ahead and put it on the parchment paper like that. And we'll go ahead and make some more. Once you have them all rolled out, we're gonna put them in the freezer for about an hour. And then afterwards, we'll put them in the refrigerator. We don't want them to freeze completely. And then we will leave them in the refrigerator until we are ready to dip them. Now when our brownie balls are just about chilled, we're gonna go ahead and melt our candy melts. And we do that in the microwave and we do it on bursts of 30 seconds. 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir until they are nice and melted. We'll grab one of these and then we will take our lollipop stick and we'll dip it in here like that like so and then we'll go ahead and go in the bottom just like that now I'm just gonna go ahead and lay them back down on this sheet so I'm gonna do all my orange ones first for my pumpkins so I'm gonna grab this And then you do that with all of your colors. And then we're gonna put this back in the fridge for about five to 10 minutes, just to let this chocolate on the bottom here set. And this is gonna act like a little bit of glue to help hold our lollipop stick inside the brownie. And while I'm waiting, I'm gonna prepare my green candy. So I have these uh, green Mike and Ikes here, and I'm gonna use these for the tip or the top of my uh, pumpkins. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just take a Mike and Ike, and I'm gonna cut off, oh, just about that much, so about in half. And then I'll use the top, this top part, for the top of the pumpkin. I'm gonna need three of them, so. 
Okay, once these have cooled, well, now what we do is we're just gonna take our little brownie pop here and we are gonna dip it straight in to our candy melts. Just go straight down. And you don't wanna shake it around too much. You can wiggle it just a little bit. About like that. And just give it a nice little tap to get the leftover candy melt. You can also spin it a little bit like that. I'm gonna put this on the styrofoam. Grab this little top. And put it right on top. Like that. Okay, now we'll do the rest of these. A couple things to note, don't stir this. You can wiggle it back and forth a little bit. We just go in and out. And sometimes you'll lose your brownie like I just did. So I just lost the brownie, which is okay. You have plenty more. Okay, just a quick uh, few little tips. If your chocolate's a little too thick, um, the brownie, might fall apart inside of there. I had a couple fall apart on me on the red ones. Um, but that's okay. I just take it, the falling apart bit, scoop it out of there and just put it on the parchment paper and just use it as a treat for later. So I have these and I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the refrigerator and let them chill for about 15 to 20 minutes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make my designs uh, for all the faces. All right, now for the really fun part decorating the faces. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with a pumpkin here. And uh, I'm just gonna do a classic pumpkin face. Now there are a variety of ways that you can put the faces on. We could use some of the dark uh, candy melt and we can just use a little lollipop stick here and just draw one on. Or we can use a, a pen, like a food uh, grade little marker. This is called a food writer. We could use a writing gel or we could use a black icing with a little tip. So I'm gonna do a, a couple of these different ways and uh, show you how they look. So let's just draw on a face here with this marker. The food writer doesn't really work that great on here. So you can see it's not quite that good. And it still works, it's just it's not the best. It's not the best, but it works. Okay, so that's one option. Another option is this writing gel. And you're gonna just put it on there. And then what I do is I'll take a lollipop stick and I'll just shape it a little bit better. Kind of nice. It comes it uh, comes in pretty clear. Now we'll do uh, the icing, and then we just. Squeeze it. Like that. And that's another way to put on a face. Okay, I'm gonna do a Jack Skellington one.
All right, our Halloween themed brownie cake pops are done. These little guys look awesome. First little tip for you, um, don't throw away your, uh, your candy melts, just scoop them into a Ziploc bag and then let that sit at room temperature. And uh, once it's done, you can just crumble it up and you can uh, remelt it, so don't throw it away. Look at these old guys. We got some pumpkins, we got some ghosts, we got some uh, Jack Skeletons, got some other weird designs that I made. Uh, you have fun with it. If I can make these, you can do it. Super easy. Go out there and make some. I'm Matt Taylor. This has been another episode of In the Kitchen with Matt. Thank you again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care. Time for me to bite into one of these. Mm-mm.